Hydrogen isocyanide is a chemical with the molecular formula HNC. It is a minor tautomer of hydrogen cyanide. Its importance in the field of astrochemistry is linked to its ubiquity in the interstellar medium. Nomenclature Both hydrogen isocyanide and azanolidinium methanide are correct IUPAC names for HNC. Currently there is no preferred IUPAC name. The second one is according to the substitutive nomenclature rules, derived from the parent hydride as ane and the anion methanide. Molecular properties. Hydrogen isocyanide is a linear triatomic molecule with C infinity V point group symmetry. It is as vitarian and an isomer of hydrogen cyanide. Both HNC and HCN have large, similar dipole moments, with respectively mu HNC equals 3.05 debye and mu HCN equals 2.98 debye. These large dipole moments facilitate the easy observation of these species in the interstellar medium. HNC minus HCN tautomerism as HNC is higher in energy than HCN by 3920 centimeters minus 1. One might assume that the two would have an equilibrium ratio at T less than 100 K of EQ, T less than 100 K less than 10 minus 25. However, observations show a very different conclusion, observed is much higher than 10 minus 25, and is in fact on the order of unity in cold environments. This is because of the potential energy path of the tautomerization reaction. There is an activation barrier on the order of roughly 12,000 cm minus 1 for the tautomerization to occur, which corresponds to a temperature at which HNC would already have been destroyed by neutral neutral reactions. Spectral properties in practice, HNC is almost exclusively observed astronomically using the J equals 1 0 transition. This transition occurs at tilde 90.66 GHz, which is a point of good visibility in the atmospheric window, thus making astronomical observations of HNC particularly simple. Many other related species are observed in roughly the same window. Significance in the interstellar medium HNC is intricately linked to the formation and destruction of numerous other molecules of importance in the interstellar medium, aside from the obvious partners HCN, HCNH+, and CN. HNC is linked to the abundances of many other compounds, either directly or through a few degrees of separation. As such, an understanding of the chemistry of HNC leads to an understanding of countless other species. HNC is an integral piece in the complex puzzle, representing interstellar chemistry. Furthermore, HNC is a commonly used tracer of dense gas in molecular clouds, as referenced in this paper. Aside from the potential to use HNC to investigate gravitational collapse as the means of star formation, HNC abundance can be used to determine the evolutionary stage of protostellar cores. This is demonstrated in the aforementioned paper by Tanaka Sayal. In the same paper, the authors also elaborate on the HNC-HCN abundance ratio as a means of determining the temperature of the environment. This paper demonstrates a myriad of uses for knowledge of the abundance of HNC. In it, the HCO plus HNC line ratio is used to good effect as a measure of density of gas. This information provides great insight into the mechanisms of the formation of luminous infrared galaxies LIRGs, as it provides data on the nuclear environment, star formation, and even black hole fueling. Furthermore, the HNC-HCN line ratio is used to distinguish between photon dissociation regions and X-ray dissociation regions on the basis that HNC-HCN is roughly unity in PDR sources, but greater than unity in XDR sources. The study of HNC is a relatively simple pursuit, and this is one of the greatest motivations for its study. 
aside from having its J equals 1 0 transition in a clear portion of the atmospheric window, as well as having numerous isotopomers also available for easy study. This makes the study of the reaction pathways that lead to its formation and destruction a good means of obtaining insight to the workings of these reactions in space. Furthermore, the study of the tautomerization of HNC to HCN, which has been studied extensively, has been suggested as a model by which more complicated isomerization reactions can be studied. Chemistry in the interstellar medium HNC is found primarily in dense molecular clouds, though it is ubiquitous in the interstellar medium. Its abundance is closely linked to the abundances of other nitrogen-containing compounds in a complex relationship partially demonstrated in the chart available on page 256 of this article. HNC is formed primarily through the dissociative recombination of HNCH plus and H2NC plus and it is destroyed primarily through ion-neutral reactions with H3 plus and C plus. These facts are corroborated in both this article and this article. Rate constants are taken from udfa.net, and data on fractional abundances is taken from this article. Rate calculations were done at 3.16 x 105 years, which is considered early time, and at 20 K, which is a typical temperature for dense molecular clouds. These four reactions are merely the four most dominant and thus the most significant in the formation of the HNC abundances in dense molecular clouds. There are dozens more reactions for the formation and destruction of HNC, though these reactions primarily lead to various protonated species. HNC is linked closely to the abundances of many other nitrogen-containing molecules, for example, NH3 and CN. The pathways leading between these species can be found in the paper by Turner et al. that is linked above. The abundance HNC is also inexorably linked to the abundance of HCN, and the two tend to exist in a specific ratio based on the environment, as noted in the paper by Hiroka et al that is linked above. This is because the reactions that form HNC can often also form HCN, and vice versa, depending on the conditions in which the reaction occurs, and also that there exist isomerization reactions for the two species. A simplified pathway showing many of the methods of HNC formation and destruction is available as Fig. 10 from Turner et al. Astronomical Detections HNC was first detected in June 1970 by L. E. Snyder and D. Bull using the 36-foot radio telescope of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. The main molecular isotope, H12C14N, was observed via its J equals 10 transition at 88.6 GHz in six different sources. W3, Orion A, SGRA, W49, W51, Dr. 21. A secondary molecular isotope, H13C14N, was observed via its J equals 10 transition at 86.3 GHz in only two of these sources. Orion A and SGRA, HNC was then later detected extragalactically in 1988 by C. Henkel, Mauersberger, and P. Schilke using the Irum 30M telescope at the Pico de Velleta in Spain. It was observed via its J equals 10 transition at 90.7 GHz toward IC 342. A number of detections have been made towards the end of confirming the temperature dependence of the abundance ratio of HNC, HCN. A strong fit between temperature and the abundance ratio would allow observers to spectroscopically detect the ratio and then extrapolate the temperature of the environment thus gaining great insight into the environment of the species. In 1986, Goldsmith et al. measured the abundances of rare isotopes of HNC and HCN along the OMC1 and determined that the abundance ratio varies by more than an order of magnitude in warm regions versus cold regions. In 1992, Schilker et al. 
measured abundances of HNC, HCN, and deuterated analogues along the OMC1 region core and confirmed the temperature dependence of the abundance ratio. Helmick and Van de Schuck performed a survey of the W3 giant molecular cloud in 1997 in which they detected over 24 different molecular isotopes comprising over 14 distinct chemical species, including HNC, HN13C, and H15NC. This survey further confirmed the temperature dependence of the abundance ratio, HNC, HCN, this time ever confirming the dependence of the isotopomers. These are not the only detections of the importance of HNC in the interstellar medium. In 1997, Pratap Payal observed HNC along the TMC1 ridge and found that its abundance relative to HCO plus to be constant along the ridge. This led credence to the reaction pathway that posits that HNC is derived initially from HCO plus. One significant astronomical detection that demonstrated the practical use of observing HNC occurred in 2006 by Tenicus al., in which the authors detected and then used the abundances of various nitrogenous compounds to determine the stage of evolution of the protostellar, Korchar MMS1 based on the relative magnitudes of the abundances. On the 11th of August 2014, astronomers released studies using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array for the first time that detailed the distribution of HCN, HNC, H2CO, and dust inside the coma of comets C2012F6 and C2012S1.